The wooden clog was the original working man's shoe, worn in steel mills and factories throughout the Industrial Revolution. From many hundreds of traditional clog makers, there are now only a handful of remaining craftsmen making bespoke clogs entirely by hand. Jeremy Atkinson makes and sells clogs from his workshop in Kington. He passed on his skills to Geraint, who works full-time across the border in Wales, demonstrating clog making at the St Fagans Museum near Cardiff. All right, there. The craft is extremely specialised, and it's taken Jeremy more than 10 years to master the knife work. It's almost impossible to work out how they're supposed to work without somebody taking you through it. I think you have to have somebody who's done it to, to teach you. So you have to manipulate the sole, turn the sole, as well as moving the knife on the curves. Each piece of wood has different problems. It's there's grain structures, the wood wants to go a certain way, you have to cut it on a bias. There's all sorts of stuff you have to learn and know. Once Jeremy has hand-carved the sole, he attaches the hand-cut leather upper. The, the toe tins are 1920 stock. The, the nails, I start off with maybe a 7 8 nail here and a half inch up here and uh, 5 8 3 quarters here. The leather is from Chesterfield but it was basically for hedging gloves. It's gonna last a thousand days, which doesn't sound very much. It's only three years, but that's continuous use. Uh, I very rarely get a pair back much less than 10, 12 years. As each order takes two to three months to complete, it's impossible for Jeremy to earn a full-time living. And for him, the ancient craft has inevitably become a labor of love. But Geraint's job at the museum ensures the craft is still offering him a living wage and affording him the time to pass on his knowledge to the next generation. You see a lot of people come in here, yeah? some of the older people, they remember clogs and they remember a clog maker from their local village or their grandfather used to repair them or whatever, so you get to learn a lot of stories from them. And also then you get children coming in and they've never seen anything like this. And of course, you think, well, oh, wearing wood on your feet. And it's a common misconception that clogs are going to be heavy and clumpy and uncomfortable, and they're not. So it's really good to actually educate people and show people that these crafts are important. The hope is, you now, as I come up to my retirement age, I will get an apprentice, and basically they'll work with me then for four or five years, and then I will retire, and then they just take over the workshop.